into bold waters. For the summer, I want to bring a lot of bold, summery looks that you can rock at night or in the middle of the day. And today, I chose this direction. So we have a lot of glossy skin, we are using new products, and we are stepping out of our comfort zone. So if you'd like to recreate this look right here, make sure to keep on watching. All right guys, we already prepped and primed the eye. We're gonna go in with some bold colors today. We definitely wanna make sure we did prep the eye area. Two options for when you are using such bold colors. You can either use a regular shade concealer that is fuller coverage, or you can go in with a completely white base. That is up to you. I didn't really want to go in with the white base because for me, that's a little bit harder to blend. But if you want more intensity in your shades, that is definitely an option. I'm going in with Coastal Sun Hot Pots today and we're gonna go ahead and lay down our crease. First shade we're gonna go in with is Fool's Gold. Kind of like a mustardy green shade. When doing bolder shades, I like to go from the background like a lighter shade all the way to the darker, bolder shades. The next color we're gonna be using is Vibrant Lime Green. <laughs> next, we're gonna go in with Vibrant Green. Go ahead and switch my brush to a smaller, fluffy brush, only because I want it to be more precise in that area. All right, so we're gonna go in with olive wood and we want to just build the outer edge with that same fluffy brush. I don't want to go crazy yet, you just kind of want to set the color because you are going to cut the crease in a little bit. I am extending it a little bit out, so I want to run it again in the crease. get a dome flat brush and I'm going to start working the concealer to cut the crease. This is going to be more tilted and elongated. I'm going to try to bring my concealer cut crease a little bit higher than I usually do. So I want to start from the base. down onto the mirror and just double check that your eyes are looking pretty even. All right, so I have a couple of oranges that I'm gonna work my way to. So I wanna lay down kind of like the redder, more orange shade first. I'm gonna go in with dark mango and I've noticed I am not setting the lid with translucent powder. I'm just gonna go in and pack it. So next I want to transition into a darker orange. I'm going to go in with Bright Tangerine. All right, so pretty much looks kind of red orange right now. I'm going to go in with Marmalade and I just want to kind of brighten up the center. So now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to a more short, dense, fluffy brush and I'm gonna start working the outer edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with olive wood and I wanna place and then kinda of try to work my way in. So I'm gonna place it on the edge and then kind of sweep it in.
guys, we're gonna go ahead and finish off the bottom of the eye. We're gonna go in with Fool's Gold. Next, we're gonna go in with Vibrant Green. We're gonna go in with Vibrant Green only on the edges. Lastly, we wanna go in with Olive Wood and again, just get that edge. We're gonna go in with that highlighter palette, that bright shade, and brighten up the inner corner. Alright guys, so that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. I am definitely enjoying this bolder combo with the glitter, my skin. I am enjoying this foundation. I will do a wear test on my next video, but I can say that it's looking pretty good. Let's talk about a couple new products that I used in this tutorial. So if you follow me on Snapchat, which you should, I'll put the link right here, you know that I've been talking about switching over from uh, one of my other products that's similar to this to the Mario Badescu line. So I will definitely leave you updated on how I feel. So today's the first time that I actually use it. I have the green tea one and the lavender one. So far so good. I feel like my face was refreshed. I don't know how moisturized I felt after. The other spray that I'm comparing this one to has glycerin and I have extremely dry sensitive skin especially right now like in my chin area. So, so far so good. I feel like it's nice but I need to continue to use it to like fully, you know, like love it or hate it. I want to show you these lashes. So originally I was going to wear these lashes. They're the Kiss Lashes in Brassiere. And I feel like for my eyes, I have small almond eyes. So no matter if I put them facing up, it just felt like, like they were just there, you know, like umbrellas, not, not like happy eyes. I switched them out for these. I like a more lifted lash only because I have super small eyes. Use them like two or three times and it's a no-go for me. I just got a couple of Morphe items that I restocked. So I restocked the spray. I really, really like it. I'm trying out their Brontour and this one is the Celebuton one. So it has a light shade and a sparkly shade. I used the contour shade just alone today. I feel like it did a nice job. I feel like if you are lighter than me, this shade will be a little bit heavy. It apply a little bit much and then I had to blend it out but it was still easy to blend out and I feel like overall it gave me a nice finish. So I'm definitely enjoying these. I want to try more products. I'm shopping at Ulta there was like a hidden little shelf and I was able to find this one. I paid like six or seven dollars for it so that was a really really good deal. It's three baked shades. Nice and pigmented as you can tell. For the price that I ended up paying I really really enjoy it. That is the highlighter that I'm wearing today. Of course I did pair it with my Wet n Wild um, little primer and then I went ahead and did this but this by itself is really really nice. If you see these definitely check them out. They're so this wraps up the look. I hope you enjoyed it. There's tons of bold more summer looks coming your way. If you would like to see a particular color or review of a product, be sure to leave a comment down below. Also make sure to turn on your notifications and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.